Hello everybody, it's me Igor. I'm a Russian man who learns English through my own experiences like comedies, maybe playing games, maybe watching movies, maybe reading books like The Great Gatsby for example, or maybe this Stephen King bullshit about uh, 112263 with this bloody hat of uh, whom? Of whom? Please let me know. Where, where, where is the sound? Whom? Kennedy, yes, exactly. Exactly right, it, it was Kennedy. But today we're gonna watch a video of Bill Burr, how you know the N-word is coming. It uh, will be made, maybe interesting, maybe not, but for me it will be really, really good challenge, because I will not have subtitles. This video without subtitles and need to understand to by only listening. Let's do this together, right now. Oh, comedy shock. It's nice to be back here down in the south, man. I had a real weird experience last time I came down here. I was in Nashville, right? Sort of an awkward social situation, right? I'm sitting at this bar, there's this white dude sitting like two stools away. I don't know him, he doesn't know me. And that Terrell Owens story was in like sports news, so I try to make conversation. I'm like, man, look at this guy. This guy just signed a $40 million contract. He's already bitching, man. I just stood first a few seconds. He was talking about uh, like an interview. One man, two stools, one with dicks, stool with dicks, uh, second with... Okay, uh, two, two stools and uh, two men, he and one more person. And he tried to have a conversation with... Uh, this person because uh, he has a contract with somebody else i'm like man look at this guy this guy just signed a 40 million dollar contract he's signed already bitching man how much money do you need to make and the dude looks at me he's like you know what i say and then he looked over his shoulder which i now know is the telltale sign that the n-word is coming <laughs> and it's coming hard ah means that uh, one more person asked question about something but this person was black person and uh, he tried to protect his mouth of uh, coming out of uh, an word, yes. Oh yeah, it's not going to be pronounced with the A, it's going to be with the R. And he hit the R, he like stuck the landing. It was like a dismount, clan members high-fiving in the background, like doing the wave. Again, one R, he likes. Oh yeah, it's not going to be a sign that the N word is coming and it's coming hard. Oh yeah, it's not going to be pronounced with the A, it's going to be with the R. And he hit the R, he like stuck the landing. It was like a dismount, clan members high-fiving in the background, like doing the wave. He speaks about... Oh, geez, nice uh, stop screen. He speaks about... He speaks about his intentions inside of him, that all his uh, vocal cords and else uh, maybe these things, uh, larynx, uh, different things of his throat, and uh, they are, they was trying to pronounce or A sound or R sound, but uh, it was like a, on stadium with a waving. Yes, and uh, but an word maybe was coming. Just out of nowhere, so now immediately I'm looking over my shoulder like, dude, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm waiting for like this hail of black fists to come raining down on top of me. I hate when people do stuff. Ah, and after that, uh, he imagined that this man will uh, punch him if he will say nigga. Sorry. It is uh, only four stories, not... I'm, I'm tolerant, yes. Like that. That dude made me part of like a potential ass kicking that I had nothing to do with. You don't do shit like that. He just had that word hot potato, just threw it in my lap. <laughs> he speaks that uh, he has... He had potatoes on his... Or what? Trying to pass it down to the next white dude. I hate when people do that, man. You know, it's like, dude, feel me out first. Feel me out first. 
some questions. Ask some questions. Do you like to fish? Do you like to fish? Have you ever fucked your sister, right? <laughs> I start rattling off answers, then you go old school. You give me a pamphlet, you tell me about your militia. Don't just dive into it. That dude was one of the angriest people I ever met. I should have known that word was coming because he was just watching Terrell, right? Anytime I would bring up, look at man, that guy's talking trash. He would just like flip out. He won't shut up! <laughs> he would shut up. You know those people get like so mad they're not even looking at you? Their eyes are up. You just shut up and play the game! <laughs> you know what's funny? I don't even like Terrell, but now I love the guy. Because every time I see him talking trash, I know this idiot in Nashville is just losing his mind, like kicking over his kitchen TV. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I like violence, man. I am. I, not, not like when it happens to me or if I see it live. I like watching it on TV, you know? He likes watching violence. people, you know, get attacked by animals. <laughs> Just get blasted in the face or something, you know? Like, I'm a huge sports fan. You know what my favorite, like, moment of, like, the last year was in sports? That Detroit Piston, Indiana Pacer, bench clearing brawl. Wasn't that great? That was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I was so confused when I watched ESPN that day. They were like, that was absolutely disgraceful. Basketball fans, they, they just must be. Able. I'm sitting there looking like, I'm a basketball fan, I loved it. I thoroughly enjoyed watching out of shape civilians get the shit kicked out of them <laughs> by professional athletes. I thoroughly enjoyed watching out of shape civilians get the shit kicked out of them. Shit kick fuck up. I didn't understand. Professional athletes. It was fascinating. And I think as sports fans, we kind of had it coming, right? Because how many times you go into a game, right? You got a little too drunk, you started screaming at some dude on the field who could clearly kick the shit out of you, right? If you saw him in the parking lot, you'd be like, hey, can you sign my stamp collection? I think you're awesome. You get in the game, you're all drunk, you're like, you suck, buddy! You're a piece of shit! And they're always calling him up, come on up here! No, come on up here! Well, they came up there. They did, and they kicked the shit out of everybody. It was great. It was like a cartoon. You're like beating up whole rows of people at once, like... <laughs> I loved every second. I love how Ron Artest punched the wrong guy. Wasn't that great? He taught that dude a valuable lesson in life. When shit goes down, you don't just stand there like you're watching a movie, like, wow, it's coming right at me. Must be in 3D or something. That was a five foot six inch, 110 pound white dude had an angry six foot 10 inch black dude running right at him. That had to have been in his top three nightmares all time. Right behind getting his dick cut off and being lit on fire. And he just stood there. Dick cut off? I comprehended it right? He's like trying to explain himself. Well, I still have the liquid in my cup, so there's, there's no way I could have... Ah, ah. He's an idiot! I understood, not fully, maybe 70% of uh, what uh, he was saying. It is interesting, by the way. And talk, first talk was about uh, an word that sometimes... Uh, I will say it like it was. Sometimes niggers... Uh, are so not good in some points of view and uh, he is not a he doesn't agree with them and uh, in this moment and word is going gathering power from his mouth and next step maybe will be punching punching of it yes and also he was talking about uh, situations about violence that he likes violence and also that uh, about punching oh, I, I don't remember i don't remember so much because i didn't understand it fully maybe need to watch again one moment let's watch it again maybe we will understand again it is like a listening number two. <laughs> it's nice to be back here down. 
it's nice to be back here down in the south, man. I had a real weird experience last time I came down here. I was in Nashville, right? Sort of an awkward social situation, right? I'm sitting at this bar. There's this white dude sitting like two stools away. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. And that Terrell Owens story was in like sports news. So I try to make conversation. I'm like, man, look at this guy. This guy just signed a $40 million contract. He's already bitching, man. How much money do you need to make? And the dude looks at me. He's like, you know what I say? And then he looked over his shoulder, which I now know is the telltale sign that the N-word is coming. Telltale sign. Telltale sign. Telltale signs. What is? Telltale. Telltale signs. Telltale Betrayal Telltale Signs Telltale Outward sign indication tell viewer informer Okay, telltale signs Okay what did I understand firstly? It was awkward situation with uh, two white dudes and uh, stools and also one more person who signed contract and after that when <laughs> they were speaking about this topic he he found face of uh, one more person who was telling by telltale telltale signs that something is gonna happen happen and it's coming hard oh yeah it's not gonna be pronounced with the a it's gonna be with the r and he hit the r he like stuck the landing it was like a dismount clan members high-fiving in the background like doing the wave just out of nowhere so now immediately i'm looking over my shoulder like what the hell are you doing you know what I mean? I wait for like this hail of black fists to come raining down on top of me. I hate when people do stuff like that. He was imagining about a black person who can do punching and different things. He was expressing, he was doing expressions about his friends that do you, do you understand what are we talking about? ...down on top of me. I hate when people do stuff like that. That dude made me part of like a potential ass kicking that I had nothing to do with. And that if people, if people will speak like this, he really tries to be person his ass will be kicked you don't do shit like that he just had that word hot potato just threw it my you don't do shit like that he just had that word hot potato just threw it my lap <laughs> hot potato hot potato it is maybe about uh, game game of children isn't it one moment, let's continue. Trying to pass it down to the next white dude. And if they will speak about nigger, that he's nigger, after that, they will try to... to... to do pass of responsibility to another white man. When people do that, man, you know, it's like, dude, fill me out first. <laughs> ask some questions. Fill me out first, ask some questions. Do you like to fish? Do you like to fish? Have you ever fucked your sister, right? <laughs> I start rattling off answers. Have you ever fucked your sister, right? I start rattling off answers, then you go old school. <laughs> you give me a pamphlet, you tell me about your militia. <laughs> Just dive into it. That dude was one of the angriest people I ever met. I should have known that word was coming because he was just watching Terrell, right? 
and this person was the most angriest person that he ever met. Anytime I would bring up, look at man, that guy's talking trash, he would just like flip out. He won't shut up! <laughs> you know those people get like so mad they're not even looking at you? Their eyes are up, you just shut up and play the game! <laughs> You know what's funny? I don't even like Terrell, but now I love the guy. Is it about commenting? Because every time I see him talking trash, I know this idiot in Nashville is just Nashville, Nashville, Nashville. It is like a nat nightwish. Nash, will, will, Nashville, city in Tennessee. Nashville is the capital of the U.S. state of Tennessee. Okay. Nashville. Losing his mind, like kicking over his kitchen TV. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I like violence, man. I am. I, I found this transmission between one topic to another with violence. Not, not like when it happens to me or if I see it live. I like watching it on TV, you know? Watching people, you know. Get attacked by animals. Getting attacked by animals means that animals can do punching or kicking. Just get blasted in the face or something, you know? Like I'm a huge sports fan. You know my favorite like moment. And he's big, big, huge, huge sports fan. Like the last year was in sports. That Detroit Piston, Indiana Pacer, bench clearing brawl. Wasn't that great? That was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I was so con moment of the, like the last year was in sports that Detroit Piston, Indiana. Detroit Pist, the Indiana Pacer, ben Indiana. Bench clearing and brawl. Wasn't that great? That was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I was so confused when I watched ESPN that day. They were like, that was absolutely disgraceful. Basketball fans, they, they just must be a bit. He that, was so that disgraceful. Detroit Piston, Indiana Pacer, bench clearing and brawl. Wasn't that great? That was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I was so confused when I watched ES. He was so confused. PN that day, they were like, that was absolutely disgraceful. Ah, it was absolutely disgraceful. Basketball fans, they, they just must be a bit. <laughs> I'm sitting there looking like, I'm a basketball fan, I loved it. I thoroughly enjoyed watching out of shape civilians get the shit kicked out of them. <laughs> by professional. I thoroughly enjoyed watching out of shape civilians get the shit kicked out of them <laughs> by professional athletes. Professional athletes, I didn't understand this uh, moment. Can you help me in the comment section? It was fascinating. And I think as sports fans, we kind of had it coming, right? Because how many times you go into a game, right? You got a little too drunk. You started screaming at some dude on the field who could clearly kick the shit out of you, right? It is about commenting that if you are drunk, you are trying to scream on screen, yes? If you saw him in the parking lot, you'd be like, hey, can you sign my stamp collection? I think you're awesome. <laughs> You get saw him in the parking lot, you'd be like, hey, can you sign my stamp? Kick the shit out of you, right? <laughs> if you saw him in the parking lot, you'd be like, hey, can you... Who could clearly kick the shit out of you, right? <laughs> if you saw him in the parking lot, you'd be like, hey, can you sign my stamp collection? I think you're awesome. <laughs> you get in the game, you're all drunk, you're like, you suck, buddy! You're a piece of shit! <laughs> and they're all... And uh, here, I don't understand what, why he was speaking about signing of a stamps collection he was imagining a situation of stamps collection collection signing of stamp collection or, or what always calling them up come on up here no come on up here well they came up there they didn't they come up uh, come on up here and then they came up ah i understood that uh, finally he he was imagining that he had punching. Kicked the shit out of everybody. It was great. It was like a cartoon. You're like beating up whole. It was great. It was like a cartoon. It's like a cartoon. You're like beating up whole rows of people at once. Like. <laughs> I loved every second. I love how Ron Artest punched the wrong guy. Wasn't that great? He taught that dude a valuable lesson in life. When shit goes down, you don't just stand there like you're watching a movie like, wow! What? Ah, and this, and in this moment when something is going wrong, 
you are not like a watching movie. You are really so excited and so nervous about something, thrilled. It's and uh, you are started, start, you are starting quivering. Coming right at me! Must be in 3D or something! That was a 5 foot 6 inch, 110 pound white dude had an angry 6 foot 10 inch black dude running right at him. And in this moment, he was speaking about so many, so many big amount number of uh, white dudes and black dudes. And after that will be transmission between, ah, I understand, transmission between uh, statistics. It had to have been in his top three nightmares all time. <laughs> right behind getting his dick cut off and being lit on fire. And, and he just stood there. And this understood too. He's like trying to explain himself. Well, I still have the liquid in my cup, so there's, there's no way I could have. It's an idiot. But, oh, Jesus, why did I say about sharks? Sharks, it is in previous things. I still have the liquid in my cup, so there's, there's no way I could have. Okay, I understood. I understood fully. I understood fully, fully this stand up, but uh, at first view it was more interesting <laughs> okay thanks so much i hope you enjoyed of my uh, thinking and uh, this kind of watching maybe it was interesting maybe not how uh, how does russian think about this types of video <laughs> and see you in the next time we will try to comprehend more I recommend your own videos. See ya.